Alright, so I've been requested to do one a zombie strat for every single map in the game. Like the best a zombie strat for every single map. So I'm going to go through every single ranked map and I'm going to show you my favourite zombie strat for that ranked map. If you want to see more strats for each of the maps, I've done full map guides, like full Azami map guides, and I'll link the playlist in the description. So let's get straight into it. We're starting off on Oregon, um, on the kids' defense, because this is probably my favorite place to play Azami. So the first Azami barrier, I just like to put it on the corner of this box here, like this. And the reason for this is that you can watch underneath it if anybody tries to drop um, pit, but also it means that people sitting on top of this attic can't, can't see through the kids' rotate. Like, they li literally can't see anything in the, in the kids. So it like really stops the push because now, now they have to kind of drop blind, which obviously is not good for an attacker. The next is army barrier is on the back side of this table like this. Just kind of put it a little bit low because you want to peek over the top of it. It's like this. And then you want to make a one way by putting one on the top of this door like that. Now you have a one way to watch anybody come in army stairs or in a trophy. And it's just really easy to like kill people on this one way. Now the next is army you put on the side of this foosball table here like this. And the reason for this is because there's an angle you can get on this window if you repel on the window or if you repel on that like roof there, on the like corner of the wall there. And you can see on that repel, you can see all the way into attic. And I don't want that angle to be a thing, so I just use this to get rid of that angle altogether. And the final is on me is on the on the back side of this wall here. Usually you'll make head holes in this wall with a shotgun. I don't have the shotgun right now, so I just that'll just have to do to, to demonstrate it. Um, but I'll put it on the bottom of the wall just to give you like your lower body protection while you're picking the holes. So you don't have to get shot in the bottom like while you while you're holding the holes. So that's all for Oregon. Let's go to the next map. All right. So the second zombie strat I'm going to show you is on Clubhouse and it's on the CCTV. The way that I like to play zombie on Clubhouse is to play in catwalk on garage. Yeah. And this is because like, you can use the barriers to just make it really easy to hold. Um, one quick thing though before, if you want to set up it properly, you want to make sure that you reinforce this wall and make head holes along here like this. Now that's the first of all you reinforce that wall so you don't get wall bang from the cap like on the catwalk from the breach. And they, they make the hole so that you can fight back and you can also like check this angle if anybody pushes in the cash. So now for the barriers. The way that you put the barriers here is just simply just to block like these gaps in the wall so that you're safe to, to play the angle. So first of all you put one here. This will block this gap. You also can have like little prone angle underneath here if you want to get like a weird one way. Like a weird hard to fight angle anyway. And then you put the second one here. The third one, I put it on like in front of this window, so that I can like, so that if anybody want, like, if I need help from anybody, they can safely pretty much just jump through this window and then get behind this pretty quickly, and then just be able to fight and like be able to pick the holes and stuff. And then they can also use this as well. The third, uh, the fourth, sorry, is on this one, like that. Just blocks the hole and then the fifth i put it to stop any kind of monty push up the garage stairs or even just any kind of push if you put it like that it means that an attacker will have to like will have to kind of either either get stuck on it crouch or try and figure out a way around it which is a bit awkward um and if you're a monty you have to like literally unextend to get through which means that you can get shot at so it's just a, a cool cool way to get rid of a monty as well so that's that's clubhouse out the way next one to the next map Alright, so now I'm going to show you an Azami strat for the basement on console at the garage site. And the way that I like to play Azami is just to make the, the site more playable because there's not really a lot of like good playable positions. Like, there's kind of these half walls, but they're not really great. So, the first one I like to put is on the side of this, like this. Boom, like that. And this will just give you some more protection. You can peek around it to like peek, peek the breach. Um, and then you can switch over at like this angle as well. And then peek around this, this as well, like that. So, it just gives you loads of angles to play around. The next one is to, to block this rotate hole and make it easier to rotate between sites. Because if not, like, if right now you're visible from the breach. So if you put it on the back of this, like, this table, make sure you put it on that table and not the other one because this one sticks out. So if you put it on this right one, it's going to get destroyed by the corner of that one. So just make sure you put it like that and it'll block the breach fully so you can safely rotate. And then the next one, the next one is to botch yellow stairs like this. If you put it high up on the wall there, you can get it one way when anybody tries to push this. It's great for early in the round to be able to just get a free pick if somebody tries to rush yellow or something. Um, just be careful when they get on the breach because if they look through the drone hole, you are visible from that. So just be careful if you like if they start shooting your feet, just leave. Or you can like hold it from here where they won't be able to see your feet. The last two I like to make a one way to watch the archives hallway, which is this back hallway over here. Um, and to do this, I I'll, I'll put one on top of the door and then one on the back side of this table, and then you can vault up here. And then be able to play this one way here. If they try and drop this, if they drop that hatch, 
by the time they've dropped, you're you're getting a freebie. Or if they come through this back hallway, like even like if they come from archives into the hallway here, you get them there as well, just a freebie. So yeah, that's all for our consulate. Let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on the bank. And the way that I like to play as army on bank is to hold server. But I also put some on site just to make it easier to hold site as well if you lose server control. So first of all I'll quickly make the rotates that you'll use in game. You'll generally reinforce this wall and have like peak holes along here. And maybe some peak holes along here as well. And you might open this. Now, one problem when you play in this red hallway, if I'm trying to pick these holes, is I'm visible from the hatch, they can see my legs. So I put the first one just to block that off on the top of this doorway like that. And it just means that nobody on the hatch can like can look down and see it's like see me in the red there. They can probably see this bit here, but at the end of the day if you're holding it from like I, that this angle, this hole, sorry, you hold from garage anyway. So it's not really a big deal. Like you hold this. So you don't have to worry about picking that. But if you're trying to pick this hole here, you're not you're not visible anymore because of the the zombie barrier to protect you. Now the next barrier I put it in server here, in uh, site here like this. Boom. And this just gives you more protection as well. Um if you want to try and like play it, push up and try and play on the bomb, you can kinda use this as like some weird weird angles you can get some from it. And do some weird like plays from it. Um the last three I used to hold server. So the first one I'll just put on top of the door like this. And this means that to get in, they can't even crouch through. They literally have to melee it or prone through or crouch through like this. Oh, they can't even do that anyways, never mind, I'm lying. They have to literally break it or prone through. And while they're trying to break it, this guy here can just get a freebie. And also make it easier for this guy to buy putting one there. And now now all he has to do is hold this one way, kill them in server and it's just freebies. And there's also another one way you can do. Put one on top of here. And then they can jump on top of this table and have a one way here. What this is also great for is if you're trying to do a Rooney trick, if you have your teammate a Rooney trick in the hatch, he can stand on this table and use this one way. It's just a really broken way to defend server. So that's all for bank, let's let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on to canal. And the way that I like to play his army on canal, on this top floor site, is to hold down this control room because it's really broken for holding down the new bridge here. So the first two I like to put on this west wing sign, put one there and then one below it like that. And this will give you a one way if anybody tries to push up the new bridge. And tries to get like tries to push up you'll just get a freebie on them and it blocks off the angle from like the head pick here so they can't even see you back there they can't see you until they're like pushed up deep and then obviously you'll realize that you're, you're visible from this window for if you do this so you want to put the next two to block the window and you do it by doing this now you put it on the corner of that light up there so that it doesn't break the barricade and now the attackers don't know that anything's here and if they should open the barricade they then have to use an ash charge or something to get rid of this so it just makes it really hard for them. And then if you put the last one on the back side of the bomb here, it just protects you even more while you're playing behind you so you're not visible from the uh, from the breach. And then you can push up and stop peeking the breach if you want to try and play aggro on the breach. Or play aggro on these holes. You can like pick up, push up and play aggressive on this. So that's all for the canal. Let's... Alright, so now we're on to Chalet. Um, and I'm going to show you for the master bedroom site. So this first is army barrier, um, you put on the back side of the B bomb here. You see this like sort of bit at the bottom there, you put it a little bit above that like that. And then you can crouch on top of this and stand up and then you'll be able to like have a one way to see if anybody pushes in through the K9 door or, or to also fight the breach as well if you make these head holes. I'll get your shotgun plan to make these head holes. Now you can fight anybody on the breach, anybody in this uh, thing or if anybody tries to pick the head holes along the wall. And it's just really broken. The next is army barrier is on this piano and it's just to make piano like in a more playable position instead of put like some people usually put a shield on top of it but you can also do the same with a barrier now you'll realize you're you're visible to the k9 door from this so i have want to block the k9 door as well by going here breaking one of these breaking all these and then putting it on the corner there like that now when you play here the, 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 like you're you're safe to play here as well as somebody if somebody's in office here holding like before the breach of walls they're trying to play along here um, they can prone here and get like a one way on the door as well and it's really hard for an attacker to push in the canine after that. Now the last two I used it to make it easier to hold library because generally when you play this site you'll want to try and hold library and you'll reinforce this wall. You'll make head holes along here. Um, and one of the downsides about playing library is that if you try and like peek the door here you're visible to a canine window, window. So if you block this off by putting a zombie there now you can peek canine where uh, you can peek library safely and not be visible from the window. I also like to put one here as well so that I can push up into the library and play aggro like this and like it just creates loads of weird awkward fights that the attackers just aren't ready for and it's really fun. So now we're going to go on to the next, next site. 
All right, so now we're on the cafe, and I'm going to show you some zombies for the top floor site. So the first one, I'll put it on this sort of lip here that comes down. You see, like, under the skylight, there's this, like, bit that comes down there. If you put it straight on there, like that, it means that you can peek through this door and not be visible from the skylight. It also means that if you have any bandits on the wall, they won't be able to get shot from the skylight. And the same thing goes for this one as well. I'll put one here so that I can, like... I can use the rotate hole here, which which should be here, um, safely, and not have to worry about the skylight when I'm using the rotate hole. And then the last three I'll use to hold piano. So the way that I hold piano is I like to put it right in the middle of this room where this chair is, and I'll put the first one on the arm of the chair like that, and the second one I'll put so you like you don't have to get shot from the window here. So I just block off the window like that, and then you can play so that like you're you're hidden from both the windows, and you can peek around this and have like a a weird one way like that. And the last one I'll put on the corner of this mini table here. Just like this on the side of the table. And this means that anybody like caught watching the mini window can't see you. And it also blocks off the angle from mini to pixel, which is this like this area here. It blocks off that angle as well. So that's all for cafe, let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on to border. The way that I like to play a zombie on border is to, to hold CC, but I'll put some in sight first. The first one I'll put is on this corner, like this sort of pillar thing here. You put it just there like that. And it'll give you an angle to peek this, like, the archives door to stop any from going for a rush plant. But it also means that on the archives balcony, they can't just, or like, even in spawn, they can't just shoot through from spawn all the way into sight because it gets blocked by the barrier. So it just gives you some protection on sight, and you can still, like, have a weird, a cool one way. Anybody on the archives balcony there. Now, the next one, I put to block this archives window, and I put it sort of like this. Um, and this, like, it doesn't fully block the window, but, like, if you're trying to play from here, you're safe. Uh, if you're trying to swing around here, you're pretty much safe from the window. And they can't melee this on the window. Like, they have to, like, ash charge it or something. Or, like, they, they can't, like, just melee it from outside because of the distance it is from the barricade. So now the last three I used to hold CC. Uh, and the first one I'll put in CC is on the corner of this fridge here, like this. And it just gives you protection to play around CC, but, like, from the, um, from the, the, the break room door. And it, like, it just blocks the door off a little bit, if that makes sense. It makes it awkward for anybody outside there trying to hold the long angle on you. The next one I'll put on the corner of this table in CC. Like this. Um, and it just gives you an extra position to play. So you can like come up here and like peek, up, peek around here and play around this. Instead of just having the only one position where it's basically just playing in the CC box. Or playing like behind the, the banana. Now, you, you, the only thing you have to be careful about is trying to cross from this to this because of the the distance it is but generally if you run with your pistol out you're pretty much fast enough to like you'd have to have like you have to be holding that as an attacker to be able to get the shot so you're probably fine and the last one i put on on simply on this just to make this like this head peak even more broken by like giving you pixel angles on both sides of the the one way uh, the army and you can also use this to, to peek out the break door as well like this so yeah that's all for border let's go on to the next map Alright, so we're on the skyscraper, and the site that I'm going to show you zombies for is Tea Room. So the first zombie that I'll show you is on the top of this uh, shrine door here, on the dragon door. And it just gives you like a one way for when people try and push top house, and try and push into shrine. They have to try and like melee it off, and you can just shoot them if they try and do that. Uh, what I also like to do as well is make holes along this wall, so you can hold terrace from this position as well. And you can fight back there. And now, to, to like, if you want to try and sort of push down here, and hold like these, these gaps here. You, you have to be careful for the um, the window behind you. So I like to just block that off with a, with a barrier as well, like that. Now I can kind of push down here and be able to play these holes and not have to worry about that. Obviously you still have to worry about like people being in the house here, but that's that's unlucky. You just have to fight, like, just wait until they're not in here to be able to push down here. Or like push down, check this, and then check that. Now the next army is on the back side of here, like this. And it just make, means that you can have a one way to peek this terrace like hole. As well as like you have more protection while you're holding this, so you're not getting shot from there. Now the last two I like to put in drum over here. Um, one of the like hardest ways to like sorry, one of the best ways to defend this site is to like use these holes here to stop anybody pushing in through Geisha. But obviously when you're holding these holes, you're visible from the terrace, so I just like to block that off. And now if anybody pushes terrace, they can't really shoot at me because I'm holding when I'm holding these holes. And I have a one way to be able to, or like I have a head peak, head peak to be able to fight them, head glitch. So it's just really like easy to defend. And then the last one I put is just a one way on the top here. Just to make it even easier to fight back, like fight them. And then you can also like make holes along there as well. And get like a really long angle in exhibition. 
All right, so on the coastline, I'm going to show you a, show you a strap for the hookup billiard set. The first is on your barrier. You want to put it on the corner of like on this, yeah, like this. And this blocks off the hookah window to, to anybody repelling, so they can't just see you right through both of the sites. Like with uh, if that if they're trying to like shoot through the wall and stuff, they can't just see through both of the sites. The next one, uh, you want to re reinforce this wall, by the way, when you're in game, like this. And then the next barrier, you want to put on the corner of this pool table here, yeah, like that. And this protects you on the rotate hole from the from aqua, as well as means you can push up and like just be able to fight them on a head peak, like this. Now the third, I like to put on the back side of this like bar here, just because this bar is wooden, which means it's wall bangable. Like that, if there's no a zombie barrier right there, they can just wall bang you through it. So it just gives you that bit of protection, like that you can't get wall banged through it. Now the next, the, now the fourth zombie barrier is on the back side of this hookah table here. Just makes it more playable to play in hookah, um, and you can like sort of have like weird one ways and stuff, and weird head peaks and stuff. The last one, you kind of have, you can either like replace one of these ones because this one tends to get destroyed, or, or this one on the window will get destroyed. You can keep the last one to replace it. Or to to just put it like on a one way on a doorway or something, or like use it late round to just like block them off. Like if they want to try and push from awkward something like late round, just do something like this. And I mean that like it just makes it awkward for them, like awkward stuff that people like need to try and adapt to. So yeah, that's all for coastline. Let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on the theme park, and I'm going to show you for the side throne. So the first barrier, you want to put on the back side of these green boxes here. And this just gives you more protection to play this area behind the bomb. You can peek behind the bomb, and then you can switch over and peek behind the barrier. So it just gives you like different ways to peek it, and like different different angles you can have on the uh, dragon door. The next one is as well. If you put one on top of this door here, like this, it just gives you a one way to be able to fight dragon. Um, like using the head peek and then head peek in the bomb, you can get a one way here as well. So it's just really like hard angles to to fight as an attacker. So the next one I put on the back side of this bomb is this box in the throne. Um, and it just gives you like a position you can play here. You can hold this. If anybody tries to run in, you can head like headshot them there. And you can also use this to, to pick towards like the split door as well. You can use this angle to get info of the run in and then just swing out, pre firing them. And then you can also pick from here as well. Just a really cool angle to play. Now the last two I put to to stop the split push. And I do one on top of the split door here, and one behind this uh, fireplace like this. Now you have like a one way to hold split. So that's all for theme park. Let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on the villa and I'm gonna show you a strap for the aviator in game site. So the way the first zombie that I'll use is on the top of this door here. You wanna put it a little bit high up. Like that. And then the next one you wanna put on the back side of this map table here. Now if you go on this map table, you can peek over and have a one way on anybody coming up top red. You can also see like there's like the sofa door over there if they try and push from statue. So if they try and push safe from top red, you basically just have a one way on them the whole like the whole time. Now the last, the next three, I put one in study here, like this. Nice, I did that wrong. You don't, do, you don't want to do it like that. Make sure you put it on the uh, on the the left side here, like this, like that, and then it'll stick out and it'll block this doorway from the window because there's a little pixel peek you can get on this door from that window, so you don't want that. And it also means that they can't on the window, they can't melee it because it's so far away. I can't right now because I'm inside, but if they're outside in the balcony, they can't melee that. The next one you put on the corner of this table here, but I don't have the barrier yet. Give me two seconds. There we go. There we go. On the corner of this table. Now you can like you can push in the study and play really aggressive on these barriers and get like pixel peek here. And like peek around here if you want to. You can basically just play really aggro and study. So you don't have just this like hole to use or just like top red as well. Like you can you can peek from this door safely. You can peek from the holes and you can peek from top main as well. You have like three different ways to fight study now. So if you like teaming up with your teammates, you can have like you can basically make study really hard to push. So that's all for Villa. Let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on the outback and I'm gonna show you his army strap for the piano site. So the first is army you want to put on the corner of this table here like this. Like right there. And this just blocks off the angle from bull into sight, like into this hallway. So you can rotate around pretty much safe from bull. And you can also push in and start fighting them if they're trying to push bull. Um, and you can get like a, a little pixel here as well if they do that. Just really cool like angles you can use. The next one I put on the back side of these boxes like this. Um, and it just blocks off the rotate a little bit better than, than just the boxes alone. Like without this you have to kind of crouch through the rotate to be safe. And um, with this you can kind of like hold a pixel as well. Now the next one I put on the corner of this table in laundry like this. Uh, it just gives you protection to play in laundry as well as you can like have like a pixel under the door inside here. The, the, the dorm's door. You can also prone here and look through the drone hole out there. If you like, 
if you got like good recoil control with the SMG, you can just kind of spray for the, the, the drone hole. And you can also like felt fight the bathroom window from here as well if you want to do that. Now the last two are to hold from yellow stairs into domes. Um, what you want to do is you want to go at the top of this light here, aim quite high up like this, and just put one on the light there, and then you put one more on top of that. Now you can play from top yellow and have a one way on the window to try and jump in. Like you can't see outside of the window, I mean, maybe, maybe, no you can't. So you can't see outside of the window, but if they jump in you can have a one way on them. So it basically means it's impossible to jump in, unless you try and ash this off. So yeah, that's all for our block. Let's go to the next. All right, so now we're on to Emerald Plains, and I'm going to show you for the administration site. So the first two zombies that I'll put is on top of this door here, like this, and then on top of this door here. Now this just gives you two little one ways to peek the doors. Like uh, because of these half walls here, you can play here and have a one way on this door, and then you can come over here and have a one way on this door as well because of the the like these half walls it just makes it really like easy to have have one ways. Usually if you want to have a one way like this, you'll need to use an army to block you on the bottom and then an army for this. Like with these these half walls just act as an army barrier basically. Um, because they're not wall bangable or anything like that. Now the next one I put on the corner of this chair in CEO like this. It means that like you can sort of safely rotate through this door here on site. And and it also means you can have like a pixel on the door as well, like that. And you can also push up and fight the window as well if you want to do that, fight the site window. Like if anyone's on this window you can kind of push up or if they try and jump in and plant here or something you could swing around to stop them so yeah now the last two i put in this meeting room here so the first one you want to break this chair like that and then you want to put it on the corner of this table like that just me this means that you can safely sort of you can quickly rotate in be able to play this angle you can have like a pixel here and then you can like push up and you can play around this and as well you can also like have like a melee hole here and you can just sort of like hold this, then come across here and just start switching up positions. If you like keep the attackers guessing, they won't know where you are. And because people don't drone enough in rank, all you have to do is just switch up the position even just a little bit. And they'll be confused as to where you are. And the last one, I put the protector on this. Because if you obviously if you're playing here, you're visible from this. So I just blocked that off. I like that. And then if you put it a little bit on there, like the left like I just did, you can also peek around the right side to be able to peek in the library. So yeah, that's all for Emerald Plains. Let's go on to the next map. Alright, so now we're on to Night Haven Labs, and I'm going to show you an army setup for the server site. So, the first army barrier you want to put on the back side of this metal table here. Um, and this is to block the doorway so you can rotate safely around site. And you can also push up on this and use this as a position to play if they're pushing control uh, connector. You can kind of like just push up and, and play this. Now, the next army barrier you want to put on the top of this door here. And it just means that, like, it gives you a one way from sight. Like, it makes it harder for an attacker to push in because they have to kind of crouch through to be able to see. And if you ha have head holes along here, like this, you can, like, put a one on the bottom of here as well. And then you can have, like, a weird, weird pixel angles into, into the, the breach room, which is just hard for an attacker to fight that angle if they don't know it's there. So they'll have to, like, drone it first, figure, it, figure, it, figure out it's there, and then try and fight you on it. It's just really awkward for them. So just make it easier. Now, what I also like to do is to make a rotate here. And then you can put in a zombie on the back of here. And you can vault up and have like a, a like a one way. Like a well a head glitch. And then if you put if you put one on the top of this door, like that, you can it creates a one way like this. You can use this to have the one way onto the hallway. Or, or you can just use this as a head glitch to, to pick the, the connector. Uh yeah, so that's all for Night Haven Labs. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, so now we're on to Lay, which is the last map that I'm showing you for this video, and it's the newest map in the game. So, the way that I play a zombie on Lay is to make a rotate here, into this room, uh, like this. And then I also like to make head holes along here. What I also do is reinforce this wall and make a rotate here. Now, and reinforce this wall as well. So the first zombie barrier I want to show you is on the corner here. Now this protects you and your rotate hole from the breach, if anybody's on the breach, picking the breach. And it also means that you can like vault up on top, make a hole above, and you'll be able to have like a head glitch onto the breach as well. Um, and it also means you can push up and fight against this, like if they're trying to push in a site, or if they're trying to push through the doorway here from the, uh, from the over there. Now what you can also do is come into here, put one on the back side of this table, like that. And then you can vault up on this table and be able to hold anybody that tries to jump in through this window here, that's on the other side of this wall. Right here. If anyone tries to jump in here, you can have a big like, an angle when they come past. Now, as well, what you can also do is put one up there like this, and then from this you can have like I put it a little bit too high there, I think. But from this you can be able to hold like the the window jump in, and when they jump in, they can't really see anything. 
they have to crouch realistically to say anything. If you put it a bit lower, they can't really see much when they crouch as well. But you can't really shoot like their head if they do if you put it a bit lower. So if you put it like this, you can still be able to shoot their head. And it just means that they have to crouch. Now the next two uh, the next one, sorry, I put on the corner of like this clipboard here. Like this. Um, and it just means that you can prone on the reinforcement here and have like a pixel angle on the, the feet when they come into sight and they can't like they just basically can't push into sight with that while this is here because you're, you're visible and you get shot in the legs and then they'll run away and be scared and stuff. So it's just really fun, really easy thing to do as well. Now the last one I put in this um, this room here, the operational room. So I, re I make holes on the right side of this wall and I reinforce this left wall or I'll get my teammate to do it and I'll put one on the back side of there. The so now you can peek from this door, you can swing out here, you can push in, try and play like around this, or you can come back and swing around these holes as well. You can basically just have so many more angles to be able to fight this push if they're trying to push in through operational. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. And also, sorry, if you want to see like the full map guides, I'll leave the place in the description. So if you enjoyed, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next